hi guys welcome here again to under interesting news it has just been reported that uh, Pedro Obi from Delta University emerges as the National Association of Nigerian Students president defeating Shei Tinubu's preferred candidate it is obvious that Shei Tinubu had a preferred candidate over Pedro Obi but fortunately for Pedro Obi he emerges uh, victorious of over um lucky who is the most preferred candidate of Shei Tunubu with a very great um margin difference. Well, well let's go into the full details of the news to see what is actually happening. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, has elected comrade Pedro Obi from the Delta State University as its new president. Obi, a PhD student of guidance and counseling study, got 212 votes to defeat his closest rival, Lucky, a monefe who scored 83 votes. The monefe is the preferred choice of President Bola Tinobu's son, Shei. The election was held at the old parade ground Abuja. Sorry, reporter Sela reported that the outgoing president, Osman Barambo, suspended the former electoral committee saying it was compromised, an action which paved way for another set of executives to conduct the election. The student body had zoned the position of president of NAS to zone B south south confirming the incident Levy Okuru coordinator of zone B said congratulations comrade Pedro Chibuzo Obi on your victory at the poll as president of the National Association of Nigerian Students NANS we believe you have the voice for Nigerian students. Viva Aluta. Some reporters had reported how the old parade ground venue of the National Convention of the Association was on Friday, December 1st, characterized by heavy shootings. The shootings, which started on Thursday, continued on Friday at the venue of the convention which is a few distance away from the defense headquarters Abuja. It was learned that some students sustained wounds from the gunshot and machetes after talks loyal to the candidate said to be the preferred choice of Bola, you know, President Bola Tinobu's son, she began attacking opposition delegates. On Friday, some reporters reported how she allegedly released millions of naira for security operatives and mobilization of courtists to compromise the national convention and enthrone his preferred candidate. According to some you know, student leaders, the plot was to ensure that Nigerian students would not rise and lead a revolution against the unpopular government of his father what is your take to this this is just a typical example of nigerian politics the same way it is happening in the higher level i mean the executive level this is the same way we also have it happening in you know nigerian universities just like we've had election in universities just to you know elect the non-president is also becoming a bloody uh, situation the source had said we have it on good authority that Sheikh Tinubu has released millions of naira to security operatives in order to compromise the national convention of NANS and ensure that their preferred candidates emerge. This is coming after the members of the convention planning committee of the association pledged to deliver the preferred candidate of Shei Tinobu in a video call with Shei Tinobu two days ago 
another source disclosed. Some reporters had reported earlier how students and stakeholders kicked against the candidature of one lucky Emonefe, a 48-year-old citizen as president of the association. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this pain development? It is now obvious that in every election, in every you know, gathering of election both at national level and even at the student level, there's always a preferred candidate by some kind of godfather and there will definitely be a preferred candidate in uh, among the students also, pardon. That is to say that even at the national level, during Peter Obiatiko and Tinobu's election, there is a preferred candidate of the people and there is definitely the preferred candidate of probably some godfathers too. Now the question is, do you think Bola Tinobu is actually the people's choice or do you think Tinobu was also imposed on us just like a lucky Emonefe was supposed to be imposed on the uh, National Association of Nigerian Students, but unfortunately for him, the students stood their ground and made their votes count. Do you think Bola Metinubu is actually the Nigerian's choice? What is your take to this? Who would like you to let us know your own reaction on this present development? Like to share your thoughts with us? You know, via the comment section on what has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions to this. A quick reaction from Abu Vicente. He said, Congratulations to him. And a reaction from Daniel Miracle also saying, Congratulations. Odinaka also said, Congratulations. We have Udi Pastore who said, Congratulations. President elect Nance 2023 elect in elective congress comrade pedro chibuzo will be this is to say that this is the choice of the nigerian students this is what they want as congratulations continue to flow in the comment section for pedro obi we have nathaniel philip also saying congratulations shuwumi adeolu also saying congratulations agne friday timothy also saying Congratulations, we have Sam saying Francis saying congratulations, man. If find Annie also saying congratulations, you know, Jude Obi also saying congratulations. We have Mohammed also saying, Wow, what a congratulation! Congratulations falling left and right for uh, Obi Pedro as he emerges as the nuns president. Who would like you to let us know your own take on this? Would like you to let us know your own view? as regards to elections in Nigeria. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not.